Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa salatu wa salamu wa rasulullahi wa salamu wa salamu. Adu bra witness that none is worshipped and the righteousness of being worshipped. Then Allah hu tabaraka subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I do bear witness that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi is his last messenger. How are you, my dear ones? How is everything where you are? Hope you're doing just fine. Hope everyone is okay. And yes, this is Ask Ashuram Tale. My name is Ashuram Tale. I know, you know. Alhamdulillah, I'm doing just fine right in the warm hearts of Africa. This is none other than Malawi. And personally, I'm from Uganda, East Africa, the pearl of Africa. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Otherwise, how are you? How is everything where you are? What is it that you're up to? Thank you for coming online, Sister Sophie Nalachi. I'm seeing uh, Sister Tabara Ba, you're from Zambia, alhamdulillah. And then I'm seeing Brother G.M. Medi. Welcome live on this show, alhamdulillah. And um, may Allah put barak in everything that comes out of me so that it benefits whoever uh, watches this show, whoever watches... Um, me alive. Welcome, my beloved sister, Nampi Jamaria. Then I'm seeing brother Muhammad Kamal. Yes, please. Thank you for being live. Alhamdulillah. But so many others, subhanAllah, I can't read all your names. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And I think um, you can hear me well. Alhamdulillah. May Allah put barak in this. Please simply do me and you a favor and simply share the video simply leave a comment or simply like the video yes you're all there thank you i'm seeing you all my dear ones thank you for being um that patient with me yeah today alhamdulillah at least i'm only 30 minutes late it's not a joke and it's not fun <laughs> anyway but um that's the way it is, alhamdulillah. What really matters is that I am here. And so may Allah put barak in everything that comes out of me so that it benefits everyone, subhanAllah. Remember, this is Aska Shuram Tale. This is your show, subhanAllah. These questions come from you. And remember, this is a show where we help each other become better people every day. What can we do for ourselves? How can we uh, help other people? Remember, this is all about touching, inspiring uh, uh, the light uh, that the world, trying to change people's lives in a good way. Let's talk about just anything. Ask just about anything down here in your service. So, my dear ones, as it is your show, you are welcome. Yes, you are welcome to contribute live. If you want to come live with me, and contribute to the question or to the theme, you simply have to send in your request now, approve it, and there we will go live on air. Yes, my theme today is never close the doors on yourself. Never give up on yourself, okay? Closing doors equally means you've given up, you've handed in the towel, you are done with it all, subhanAllah. You are better than that. Closing the doors means you have failed and you have agreed and given in to that failure. Meaning you have lost all the hope. Meaning you have given up on yourself. Meaning you see yourself just nowhere but finished and done, and that's all, which is something very wrong. Which is something very wrong. <laughs> okay, I just saw a personal uh, question. 
not told you guys this is all about the show you know it's helping ourselves just you don't have to ask some questions alhamdulillah whether i am or not subhanallah what matters is what comes out of me alhamdulillah that's what really matters so my beloved brothers and sisters thank you for being part of the show this is Ask Ashuram Tale, where we help each other become better people every day. How can we inspire the world? How can we help out each other and stop ourselves from tearing our hair off? You know, this in this hectic, stressful world, there's so many things that we're going through, the ups and downs, subhanAllah. How can we help ourselves get up back on our feet and get moving because giving up on yourself will not do you any good hope i am audible enough <laughs> hope i am audible enough alhamdulillah and um hope you can hear me well because that's exactly what i want or else my message would be useless if you can't hear me so my dear ones Never close doors. Never close the doors on yourself. Meaning, never give up. This life is so full of ups and downs. We trail sometimes on straight roads, alhamdulillah, that is, you know, good. And then sometimes we, we, we find mountains, swamps, valleys, and how are you going to try through all these, you know, the mountains, hills, valleys, swamps, subhanAllah. Sometimes things feel falling apart, like we are finished, like we are done. There's no other way. Like we have reached the end of it all. Like there is that big wall, call it a rock, that can't be moved, subhanAllah. And you see just nothing that can help you out. You are just done. And that's all. And some people give in. Some people give up. Some people close the doors on themselves, subhanAllah. And this is so bad. Because you are going to turn into your failure. And it's not going to do you any good. And the people don't care. Besides, remember there are also other people who are looking at your failure. Other people who wish to see you down. Other people who wish you failed. Who just want to drag you down. SubhanAllah. You are making them succeed in their efforts. You are putting a smile on their face for your failure. Would you really want that? My beloved brothers and sisters, I know we're all going through tough situations. We're all facing it rough in one way or another. Trust me. You don't have to give up on yourself. You don't have to close doors on yourself. Just hang in there. Okay? Pray to Allah. <laughs> keep patient. Yes, keeping patient is the best way to go as you are praying to Allah than just giving up on yourself. That means you have lost the hope. That means giving up on yourself, you are losing out your trust was not your hope in Allah. And yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Almighty. And remember Allah deals and he loves patient people. And that is so evident in so many uh, verses in the Quran. And yes, remember, the Quran is our everything. Islam is life. Islam covers all aspects of life. And how can we keep 
any stronger if we don't keep attached to Allah. Subhanallah. When you read the Quran plus all the verses in the Quran, you will always find the strength to get up back on your feet and get moving. Remember that the, the theme is never close doors on yourself. Subhanallah. That means you will have become a failure. That means you will have given victory to all the negative people, to all the people who wish you dragged down, bringing smiles on their faces. Okay, let's let's just assume they don't exist, but that's you know that's on a lesser lesser scale because I believe everyone has their own enemies. Everyone has those people who hate them. Whether they are enemies, you know, I call them enemies for free. I mean, you know, you didn't do anything to them, but they just don't like you. Or enemies on purpose, I mean, they have reasons as to why they hate you. You might be knowing the reasons or not, but at least somewhere, somehow, we all have people who don't like us. We all have people who always look out for the, you know, the, the worst in us, for the devil out of us, for the you know to who always find faults with us no matter how good you are you never impress everyone so i'm talking about those people who always pray to see you down and yes you're giving them that satisfaction because you have closed the doors on yourself my beloved brothers and sisters subhanallah wherever you are whatever you're doing whoever you are whatever situation you're going through just keep it a heart that Allah is in control. That is one of the way to console ourselves, to get ourselves getting better, to get ourselves, um, you know, keep us out of stress. Because there's so many things that we stress about that we can't change anyway. And we keep stressing, we keep worrying, we take away all the peace from ourselves yes my beloved um beloved friend this is robin with the outman all the way from usa and all you're saying is that sometimes a tough time can be very thing that changes you whole your changes your whole life for the better ask yourself how do i want it to be and then take steps that you can and show other people for sure other people are not always dependable, so love yourself because Allah loves you. Yes, I know. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Yes, every time you mention Allah, I just get excited. I just get so happy. Thank you, my beloved friend. This is Robin Altman. And um, show. hopefully uh, maybe to, uh, next week we'll be having a show. I'll be having a show with you. May Allah accept. Be Eden Rahman. Thank you for always being here and thank you for that contribution yes it really makes it count i told you my beloved ones if you want to come live on the show please simply send in that request and i will approve it and there you will be or else drop a comment don't you forget to like the video and share the video as well remember this is your show we're only trying to make ourselves become better people and uh, find different pieces of advices to our problems you know we're going through a lot especially in this dot-com era subhanallah so many things are not going right especially that people are so hypocritic people are so evil people are so cosmetic i mean they pretend to be who they're not i mean they try to cover up for themselves and try to uh you know portray the good picture and yet they are exactly the opposite of us so my beloved ones in this hectic world you should be and never give up Close up the doors on you, on yourself. That means you have given up. You have handed in the towel. You have failed. Yes, as much as we love success, sometimes some things just fail. But when something fails, please don't call it quits. Don't call it quits on yourself, like giving up everything. 
if one thing goes wrong okay if one path is not the right path that's that doesn't mean all the paths are wrong keep trying keep trying with bismillah subhanallah get up and keep trying pray to allah i told you there's so many verses in the quran please let's all, all we need is to simply get attached to the quran to read more about quran subhanallah for allah is with the patient people that's in surat imran that is the third surat verse 14 allah is with the patient people okay we have you know please try to get yourself to console yourself to counsel yourself because I believe you are the best counselor for yourself. So many people could talk to you about trying to, you know, counsel you, trying to show you the way, trying to console you. But subhanAllah, unless you decide, unless you just decide to calm down and, you know, it's all up to you. No matter how many people will try talking to you, I've had that experience. People will talk to you and all you have in mind is that they're only trying to, to console me or to calm me down simply because it's not happening to them. Simply because they can't have an idea of how I feel. That's how they find it so easy to tell me to give it up on whatever that is stressing me and move on. You are your best counselor. You can talk to yourself better than anyone else. It all begins with you. When you trip, that's my motto. When you trip, simply get up, dust off yourself, and get moving. Because no one is gonna help you get up anyway. People will instead gossip, people will instead laugh behind your back, even your friends. People will instead have those statements like, I know, I know she wouldn't make it. I know he wouldn't make it. I saw that coming. They're always there. Like they saw it coming. If you saw it coming on you, my friend, why didn't you warn me about it? Yeah, I saw the way she was doing things, the way he was doing things. He just wouldn't make it. I saw that. I saw that relationship wouldn't really work. They're always there. They saw, they knew it would happen. But then they never warned you. Do you really think they knew you would break up or you would fail? I don't think so. It's only because every time you fall, other people, some people, a few of the people feel your pain. A few of the people could genuinely feel you. But most of the people are inside them. It's just like, uh, they're happy might not show you told you especially in this world that is so full of hypocritic people bad people but who are pretending to be good, good people and that they're, they're actually bad people evil people subhanallah may allah protect us all from all those people and one of the prayers that you should keep praying every day is to because we can't know anything we can't know our enemies anyway and most especially those who are close to us some of our friends are our enemies, my beloved ones. So we should always pray to Allah to reveal to you these enemies, to reveal to you these people. SubhanAllah. Allah is all-knowing, all Al-Alim. And he will find, he will have a way to reveal to you these enemies. And you will be the most surprised person. You get a starter in your life, SubhanAllah. Shock of surprise. When is the people so close to you? But you can never know, subhanAllah. And by the way, you can't even live without people. You shall live with people. Okay? So, my beloved ones, I'm recording you to always, to always keep in touch with the Quran. Let's make it our friend. There's so many things out there that can console us, that can drive away the fear inside us. 
that can always help us get back on our feet. There's so many verses, my dear ones. And yes, let's look out for them. Let's try our level best. There's so many things we're going through. It could be a relationship. Please don't give that person an impression that they can own your life, they can own your happiness, they can control you, that is make you a sad or happy. You own your own life and you own your happiness. You decide whether to be happy or sad. Have the remote right in your hands. This is your life. Life is too short to play about with it. Life is too short to get wasted. Spoiler. Every minute you live, you could have no guarantee whether you will get into the next minute. So giving up on yourself simply because someone, uh, you know, broke up with you and you think that's the end of the world. That's not the end of the road. There's always, that's what I always tell my beloved sisters. Well, my beloved brothers, you're also watching. There is always that Prince Charming for you. And for the brothers, there's always that queen for you. It's not the end of the road. It's just a matter of praying to Allah. And yes, I told you the Quran has it all. For example, in Surat Abakar, this is the second Surat, verse 153 to 154, where Allah says, All you who believe, seek for help for everything that you want with patience and a salat. Indeed, Allah is with the patient people, subhanAllah. Yes, we can do this and not get distracted. You know how much uh, twin loves us broken down and that's when he will come in and whisper all those negativity in your mind and try to accomplish its missions because you are down. You have lost hope. You have given up. You feel like it's the end of it all, subhanAllah. You will always be surprised. Just hang in there and be patient. You had the verses. Please look out for them. Read for yourself and read more. Allah is with the patient people. That is the third surat. Verse 14. This is Surat Imran. Check out with Bakar. This is the second surat. Verse 153 to 154. Okay? All you who believe, seek help in patience and asadat. That is prayer. Indeed, Allah is with asabrun, the patient. Alhamdulillah. My beloved brothers and sisters, we can do better than that. That is, if you only discover your worth, and you live up to that. Just never give up. Have the confidence in you. See the best in you in the coming days. It could be just a minute away to get what you've prayed for for years. It could be just an hour away, a day away, a week away, a month away, a year away. Okay, it's all about the patience. It's all about helping yourself out. It's all about knowing what you want. Okay, knowing what you want, go for it with Bismillah. Okay, yes, Bismillah is Allah's name. And this helps you when you fail in any way. Subhanallah, you began with Allah's name in anything that you just began. Remember how much we pray for success. We 
and just love getting what we are praying for. And my beloved brothers and sisters, not every prayer is answered the way that you want it to, but there's no prayer that goes unanswered. It's just that Allah is all-knowing, Al-Alim. He is the best planner. He knows what's best for us. Allah loves us so much that he can never incline anything on us that would that would harm us. Whatever a thing that can be. No matter how bad it is, no matter how much pain you might think it is, subhanAllah, Allah has a reason behind it and it is I repeat, it is only and in only our advantage, my beloved ones. So, all that it takes is just a matter of time. And remember, as you keep patient, there are rewards. I told you, we have the Quran. Al Quran, Al Hakim, it's got it all. Islam is life, it's love, it's truth, it's peace, it's light, it's welcoming. When I talk about Islam is life, there aren't a thing that it's never covered. All aspects of life have been covered in Islam. We talk about so many things, subhanAllah. Just like Allah tells us in the 39 surah, this is verse 10, Azumar. For all those who seek help in patience, they will receive their reward without reckoning. They'll receive their reward in full, without estimation, without calculation. This is a promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then who are we not to be patient, subhanAllah? Please try to be patient with yourself. Try to be patient with other people. My beloved brothers and sisters, never close the doors on yourself. Never give up on yourself. For Allah is all watching. Allah is in control, subhanAllah. There is never a thing that ever happens without Allah's consciousness, without Allah's awareness, without Allah's approval. It's just a matter of knowing who Allah is. We do not know Allah enough. That's why we are suffering. That's why we're complaining. We're not contented with what we have. When Allah gives you this, subhanAllah, you know, we're all humans and this is the way it is. You could be praying for a bicycle and Allah will give you a motorbike. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all giving. I will have. And yes, when he gives you a motorbike, you just wish like you had a car. Allah will give you the car, subhanAllah. And yes, you were on a motorbike and Allah has given you, um, what's that, the small cars like the VTs. Uh, Allah has given you uh, the, oh, I'm forgetting this other car, the Spacio. For those who have these cars, and I mean, I, I mean these small cars, you know what I'm talking about. And when Allah has given you from the motorbike, he skipped you from a bicycle and then you got a motorbike. Now you are having a spacio. Those one of those small cars. And then you will wish you had. SubhanAllah, you know, that is the nature of human being. That is how we are, you know. Alhamdulillah. So my beloved ones, let's try to be contented with what we get. Let's try to be appreciative and thankful to Allah. Let's try to always look at the people below us. That's the only way that we can appreciate Allah and be thankful to Allah and not look at always above. Okay, because we shall keep complaining. And every time you are seated in that spacio, then you will wish you had a sport Range Rover. It's not really bad, but you know, we are trying to um, not get so much taken up with the world. Yeah. To teach ourselves to be thankful to Allah than complaining all the time and washing you. You have better than that, subhanAllah. Yet in the fast, you had nothing. 
so my dear ones remember we are looking at never close doors on yourself if something fails that's not the end of the of, of, the, of your life that's not the end of the road Allah is the paver of paths with the orange in it's just a matter of just trusting our faith our love our hope our trust in Allah subhanallah miracles do happen when you place everything in Allah's control ya Allah I have failed I'm just at the end of it all the war has ended ya Allah I can't see any way through pray to Allah as though you're seeing him pray to Allah as though you are speaking to him one-on-one -on -one because that is it when you are praying to Allah that is a direct direct communication between you and your Lord between you and Allah Pray to him. Cry to him. Yes. There is, you know, so many ways of, you know, subhanAllah, yeah. There are those things that we need so badly that we cry for them. Allah is so merciful. He's the most kind, the most merciful. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Cry out to Allah. Pray to Him what you want. He will. Yes, He is the answer of prayers, Al Mujib. He will answer you. I told you, no prayer goes unanswered, but not all prayers. Sometimes we pray for things that are not good for us. And yes, Allah changes things. He will always have a way of. Answering our prayers, even when sometimes we don't know how, we don't even realize this. So, my beloved ones, Allah, never give up on yourselves. Have confidence in yourself. Avoid negativity. Avoid negative people. Avoid negative thoughts. Negativity are one way to failure. Negative people, those people who always never see you going there, always who uh, d discourage you, always who think uh, that can't work out, please, if you fear risks, you're not going to get anywhere. You're just going to stay there, stagnant, confused. you lose which path to take because you fear risks. <clears throat> okay? You have to always stand up. Get back on your feet with Bismillah. I told you, my dear ones, when you begin with Bismillah and something does not work out, you'll always have that alhamdulillah right away. Ya Allah, I began with your name. And if this hasn't worked out, because when you begin with Bismillah, that means Allah is in everything that you have started. Allah is the Almighty. He is the Sovereign, Arizak. Allah has it all. He's the rich. And he is the only one who makes people rich. al -Mugmir. Allah pays parts where there aren't any. He does pay parts. Pray to Allah. Keep patient. Just like he always tells us. In the eighth chapter. This is Anfal, verse 46. Allah is always with the patient people. Let's be that patient. Patient pains, but pains. You'll gain from that patience, subhanAllah. Sometimes better let the puzzles play themselves. Lilla. Because there's so many things we can't change that we usually stress about. There's so many things that we can't do anything about, but they usually take our peace of mind. They usually get our story into pieces. Like you feel you can't breathe. But what are you going to do? Die? Give up on yourself? 
you have so many reasons to smile to live a thousand million billions trillion reasons to still stay strong yes you can do it it's just a matter of discovering yourself and knowing what you want it's just a matter of having the determination that confidence in you and getting back on that road and get trying it. Remember I told you, when you fall, get up, dust off yourself, bismillah, and get going. Pray to Allah to show you the path. Because subhanAllah, we are just nobodies. We have nothing. It's not all up to our brains that we are so clever and that's why we are getting what we want to get. It's not that we are beautiful and so we think, oof, it's not that. Everything is all up to Allah. What it takes us is to simply pray and keep patient. At least I've given you some verses. Please do yourself favors. Go up there. Let's make Quran our friend. Let's research. Let's look out for those verses because when you have the Quran, when you keep Quran closer to you and get written notes verses, we're going to help you, calm you in a good way and give up on stress, give up on negativity. You know how much your twin loves us in, that, in those situations and then it will easily use you to accomplish its missions because it keeps whispering so many things in our ears and in our minds and we keep thinking of impossibilities, things that we can't change. Please, my beloved ones, it's only that we don't know all enough, but had we known all enough, yeah, had we lived in this world just like the birds, you know, they eat up everything that they find, not thinking of tomorrow. But subhanAllah, they do feed every day. Why? Because their hope is in their creator. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because they know Allah can never give up on them. Because they know Allah will always have their back no matter what. Something that we lack, us, the human beings, that's our weakness, one of our weaknesses, we lack this kind of unbreakable trust but Allah my beloved ones just try it just try to keep that unbreakable unshakable trust in Allah 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 is the most loving he's the most kind he's the most merciful told you guys it's not all up to our iman like we have in high iman there's nothing like iman subhanallah dropping you down and getting misguided it's just nothing to allah if he wishes it's all about praying to him every day to make you a better person to keep you up there on whichever stage you are Allah to help you go higher, higher than where you are. Okay? So, my dear ones, wherever you are, whoever you are, yes, we can do better. We can become better people. We can become stronger than who we are. It's just a matter of praying and patience giving you those verses check them out plus so many other verses it's just a matter of placing our faith trust and hope in Allah that's the only way we can survive in this hectic world the world where so many people want you down without even knowing where you came from or how you've struggled how you've what trials you've passed through 
what you are sacrificing to keep or try to survive in this hectic world where people smile and feel happy when others fail you have a million reasons to keep standing and moving and yes if you choose to if you want to if you can get there don't give those how should i call them those people who don't like you an impression that you have failed don't give them a chance to get a smile on their faces besides you are better than who might you might think you are i do emphasize one wrong doesn't make everything wrong if you failed in something please there are always other chances it doesn't matter how many times you have to try if it's all about the relationships the marriages that didn't work out there's always that prince charming waiting for you who will embrace you who will see everything in you it's just that sometimes we get so worried and so many people are living in relationships that don't impress them simply because they are so afraid of what it will be like if they give up on it if they let it go simply because they fear to be dependent self-dependent we fear so many things and then we keep in those situations that suppress us that keep hurting us that keep harming us simply because we fear to give up to let it go like we keep wondering what will it be like if i'm out there alone and you know does that mr right for you if where you are you'll find peace please try to be patient but don't suffocate yourself if it fails and it's torn apart don't say quit if one man is bad please don't generalize like i'm done with men all men are bad Spananda. You know, I'm talking in terms of the sisters because, you know, yeah, I'm a woman and so please don't say all men are bad and so you give up on everything and so then what? <laughs> Subhanallah. I don't think that makes sense. So then you're going to start oh God. No, I don't even want to mention it. Yes, you can always find a better man if you believe in yourself. If you place your trust in Allah and pray to Allah and patiently wait for Allah's answer. He's the answer of prayers, Al Mujib. That was just an example of what we are going through lately. It could be work, you might have lost something, or you know. You must have failed in any way. You have tried to get something and you're just not getting it. Please don't give up. Keep trying. Keep trying. It might just be a one minute away, I told you. It might just be one hour away, one, one day away, one week away, one month away. It might be just one year away. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Just have that faith. Lila. And let's always have no the right way of praying. You could be wanting someone so badly that you see your life in them, like you can't survive without them, like they are your air that you breathe, subhanallah. Let's always have that way of praying, Ya Allah. You see how much I love him, how much I want him. 
but you know him better than I do. I'm patiently waiting for your answer, Ya Allah. If he's not good for me, my beloved sisters, yes, if he's not good for me, please replace him with someone much better than him in everything. And then leave it all up to Allah. He is all knowing, Al Amin. He's the best planner. He knows. Yes, he knows what's best for us. It's just a matter.